guys it's your girl Sharon back here today with another video in today's video we're going to be DIYing a memo board I've been seeing this on Pinterest for the longest time and I've been saving pins different pins different pins of this memo board and I decided that oh today or today not today we're gonna make our own and we made it so I'm just going to show you guys how I made it and so you guys can do it it's actually very simple the things you need are very simple to find but before we get into the DIY as you've seen my face like this I know you already like this video so do just like it in your heart you know that it looks like this click it for me it helps me and it also helps you but apart from that you need to hit that subscribe button because obviously you know that if you like it already okay let me give you benefit of doubt you may not love the video enough to subscribe so calm down watch the video first then if you love it at the end don't forget to subscribe. I'll hand over to Voice Over Sharon. Let's see you guys at the end of the video. Hello guys from Voice Over Sharon. So we're going to go straight to the things you are going to need. You're going to need carton. You're going to need piece of fabric. And you're going to need pins because I personally customized my own pins to fit my own vibes. I have different vibes, so I did like five different vibes. And you need a glue gun or any type of glue you have. And also paper tape or tape sharp and yeah scissors or exacto knife and spray paint for the pins so step one is basically the easiest it's just cutting two pieces of cardboard at this point is where you can just get like extra creativity you can do hexagon shape you can do circle you can do octagon you can do pentagon so anything you want to do do it at this point but then the reason why i'm cutting two um, layers of this thing is because when I pushed my pin through one I noticed that oh one like the pin thingy here yeah, you know that in the mouth of the pin was sticking out so I just said that oh I'll just like glue two together and then wrap it with the fabric so yes that's what I did here yeah. I just cut it out like with my exacto knife and if you don't have an exacto knife you can actually use a scissors that's why I just said scissors because I don't think everybody would have an exacto knife and after I was done with that, I went ahead and I actually just glued the two cardboards together. So after putting the glue, I just decided to use a piece of cardboard to spread the glue so that it can be spread evenly across the whole cardboard. And if you if you see that there are spaces there and you need to fill them up, fill them up with glue. So after that, I just went ahead and put it together and actually placed books on top of it. But yeah, I just placed books on them so that it can keep it together, you understand? So that it can dry together and all sha. So after placing the books, I actually left it overnight. So step two is actually very optional. It depends on you. I decided to spray paint my own paint, gold and silver. Like I just taped it off and actually just prepared it. Remember to cover your hands if you need to, and also wear a face mask when you're going to spray. And also spray outside, not inside your house. And if you're spraying inside, make sure that there's enough ventilation inside the house. So I decided to just spray it. I actually don't think this is the best way to spray paint this kind of thing, but I really like that. Anyways, the next thing was covering some of the. Um, pins with glitter and I just did that by adding mud podge to the top of the paint and then pouring the glitter on it. See, this thing is very simple, very easy. You can use normal glue too, but any glue that dries clear would be actually be a very good fit. So I just opened my glitter pack. I have like five different colors of glitter and I poured it on it. This took a while, like getting the angle of this, but it was actually very fun to do. I was like, I think I was in a class. So as I was watching my class, um, I was doing like a course online and while I was like going through like some things I was just like pouring with glitter like that's the best thing to do while you're doing other things like these things are like it's like monotonous so you just keep doing it keep doing it and then like it just flows with your like flows with you Sha. so yes this is the second um, type of um, pins I did the next step was actually just gathering around like my house gathering knickknacks beads gems um, broken stuff and actually putting it on the paint and making them look better so I did this by using super glue because I didn't know how mud podge or normal glue would hold and I didn't want the whole thickness of, of, of a glue gun 
on the paint so I, what I did was I took a piece of sandpaper you can use I think you can use like a stone to just scratch the surface so that the glue will stick better to the surface of your pins because some of my pins were actually like very very metallic and silverish and very very smooth so you need to actually scrape you know so that the glue can have something to stick on so afterwards just glue it together very simple so step three step three is the last step and this was just cutting the fabric to fit around the carton so the, i actually cut two layers of fabric too in this case and the reason is because my fabric has holes so i decided that oh i didn't want to be seeing the holes i poke into the cardboard or carton and i didn't want to see that so i decided to cut two layers of it so that i can like get like an opaque layer over my carton so i won't be seeing the holes of the pins because after some time this is um, DIY is actually going to wear out. I'm not sure for how long. I've used this for like four weeks now and it has not worn out yet. So I think it's okay for like three months. And I actually made it one for my sister. That one was very circular and I used just one sheet of fabric because the fabric was already opaque. It was a flowery fabric. See, that's why I said that you can get very creative with this thing and match your fabric to suit your vibe. My vibe right now is I'm not sure of my style, so I'm just trying to do things that are minimal and monotonous. Is it monotonous that I call it? But yeah, one color type of thing so that they can fit into any style. So I'm coming out with DIYs in like the future, bro. <laughs> future is next week. So yeah, and you guys will be seeing what I've been doing. I actually taped it down because like I wasn't sure if I liked the fabric on my wall, so I had to like tape it down first and see that like, do I like this thing or not before I go and waste my glue gun okay and that reason why I did it was because I didn't have glue gun like my glue gun sticks at home at that time so I only had like the little I was using to do like my DIY projects at that time and I didn't want to waste it so I decided to try the fabric out first and like I tried it out and I was like okay I was very I was still skeptical but I'm looking at it right now and like I really like it like because it just seems as if it can fit anywhere and because it's flat I can just trace into my box at the bottom of my box and take it with me to school and hang it in school so after just gluing it you know just make sure it's secure nobody's gonna see the back it can be anywhere we want to be I actually left the tape on it in case I don't know what I want to do with the tape, but I should have left it on its shelf. So after gluing it in place, like, guys, this was so simple to do. I'm happy that I'm actually sharing this with you guys. Oh my god. So I decided to mark the point where I wanted the string to hang from. You can actually hang this directly on your wall. But because I wanted versatility and like I wanted to be able to take it to school and I don't know if they are going to like I'm sure there are like nails on like my door in school so I'm not sure of like the way I can do it so I just had to add the string and see if you don't want to add the string look for a way to mount it on your wall you can use wall mounting double sided tape I actually have that too but I just didn't want to use that on my wall and I said to use a string because I don't know it just to me it just took better and yeah it just gives gives it this look i don't know which look but it gives it one look sharp and that's why i use so guys that's actually the end of this diy i'm going to hand over back to sharon but guys this is the transformation so guys that was the video that was the diy i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys will make it and if you actually will make this don't forget to tag me on instagram at underscore the sharon and if you're on twitter i'm also on twitter but i'm not always active but if you tag me there don't worry i'll see it at underscore the sharon and i think that's all for this video so guys <clears throat> that's not all i just remembered if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe Mundro there i'm waiting for you Are you done? Thank you so much for subscribing. God bless you. So yes, guys, there, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video next week, Friday. Bye.